Welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Sean and today we're going to talk about how to configure a virtual service for multi-domain with enhanced virtual hosting or EVH on AVI. Before I jump into the configuration aspect, let's walk through what I'll be demoing. So me, the admin, I'll first configure a parent virtual service. This parent virtual service will have an IP address. It'll have actually SSL certificates as well if I enable SSL, but it also acts as a catch-all for all the connections coming to this virtual service without a proper domain name or specific path. The child virtual services will actually contain specific domain names with a path mapping. So the parent virtual service knows where to send the traffic. So in the first case is I have abbywebfelab.in with a path of forward slash. This will be my main page. My second child virtual service will be abbywebfelab.in with a path of images. So let's jump into the demo. On my AVI controller, I haven't configured any of the virtual services I need so far. So let's jump in. We'll go advanced setup. I'm going to select my NSX cloud. I'm going to select my proper VRF. And let's first enable EVH by clicking virtual hosting virtual service. We're going to change this to enhance virtual hosting, and it's going to be a parent virtual service. And then for VS VIP, I've already created my VS VIP. So we're going to select EVH demo. Let's name it parent EVH. And we'll scroll down and just set a port of 80 so that I can do uh, insecure traffic as well. For now, I'll leave all the SSL settings. I won't add a pool either. So next, next, and then save. And then this virtual service should come up. We just may have to wait a couple seconds and there it is. So we have our parent. Now my web application isn't actually there yet. So if I try to navigate to this, it should still not work. So let's first create the first child virtual service. Create virtual service and hit advanced setup. We're going to select the same cloud. We'll select the same VRF. Enhanced virtual hosting. And it will be a child this time. So I have to select which parent this child will live under, which will be parent EVH. And we'll name it the same as what we saw on the slides. And this one will be web. Now host avi web.felab.int. And it's just going to be the root path. So just forward slash. Scroll down. Anything else we need to configure? We need to configure the pool. So I've already created my pool, aviweb-pool. And now we should be able to save the configuration and it should come up. Great. So now let's go to the application just to make sure it works. All right, we got our web content. We're still missing the images, which we expect because I haven't created the other child virtual service. But let's first validate that this is actually going to our virtual service. So I'm going to click non-significant logs, refresh. So we'll click on this log with the forward slash. We see a 200 OK. I see my IP. I see the virtual service IP and which IP uh, we're using for the server connection and then my server endpoint. It looks like the connection was to this virtual service. Let's jump out and create the second child now. The only difference is the path. So I'm going to select images. And we'll scroll down and I have my pool for images as well. So let's save this. It should come up. Let's retry that connection. And we got our image. Now, how do we know it's the we're hitting that images path? Well, let's make another tab. We'll go to images avi.png. All right, so we're still loading the image, but let's check the logs just to make sure We'll refresh, and here we go. Images, AVI, PNG. And again, we have a 200 OK, my client IP, and then the pool, 10, 10, 0, 20 this time. So it was my images pool member. The last thing I want to do is secure my application. So if you see here, it says not secure. If I add HTTPS in front of this, it, 
it's an invalid certificate, as we can see right here. So what I want to do is bind a proper certificate, and that's under the parent virtual service. So let's get rid of this self-signed one, and we'll add the Avi web one I've uploaded already. We'll click Save. Let's try this connection again. And now it works. If we click on this icon, we see the connection is now secure. So we're using the valid certificate that I've uploaded. As always, thanks for watching. Please check out our other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to video series.